All right, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Good Farther. morning, good evening, good day, and good time zone to you all. And welcome back to our second of three live streams to go ahead and talk about what's going to be coming with Destiny 2 into the light on April 9th. As a reminder, everything you're about to see is available to all players just as was everything last week when we went ahead and had a chance to go ahead and walk through Onslaught. Uh, now, today we've obviously got a few topics that we touched on last week. We got a new social space to go ahead and check out. We're gonna look at some rewards, obviously, uh, and maybe a, a, an up close and personal look at the Brave Arsenal. But of course, I'm not the only one who's gonna be talking through it. I'm joined by an all-star cast of folks here from the Bungie development team, and I'm gonna go ahead and go on down the line and introduce them. If you were here last week, you obviously recognize his face, but uh, Tom Farnsworth, senior design lead. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, yeah. And, uh a little bit about myself here. I've been yeah. at Bungie for about 12 years, maybe a little longer. It's been a while. A decade plus. Uh, and obviously there's some stuff we're gonna be looking at today that's kind of like full circle. Yeah. With, you know, the Space Tiger logo yep. in the light there from the early days of Destiny. And uh, I've been fortunate to, you know, I, I was able to place the Kavastov way back yeah. in, in Cosmo for y'all to pick up. Oh, did you really? Yeah, that was, that was something, I, obviously it was, the foundation. teams are stronger than heroes, is a big team effort, but yeah. uh, there's a few things that I, I'm really, Having had a chance to work proud it's the Kava stuff, guys, and not the Kava stuff. We've been like, saying it wrong this the, whole time. The drop pods and homecoming. <laughs> um, so follow them on Twitter. Let them know how you thought about that. Right. And then yeah. over the past few years, I've been working on on seasons and, yeah. and things like the 30th and Into the Light Very as exciting. a creative lead. Awesome. Chad, I'm going to crank the Thank audio up for them. Work. As someone who's played a lot of it, uh, excited to go ahead and dive in more with even more of it today. And of course, also we're joined by Chris Proctor, senior design lead here at Bungie. Uh, Chris, let's Chris, go. Chris, find folks at home who may not have heard you on a podcast or know anything about you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Bungie? Chad, how is that? Is yeah. that louder now? Uh, yeah, I joined Bungie four and a half years ago as a weapons feature lead for Destiny 2. That good? Um, so a bunch of Destiny releases. This will be my 17th with Into the Light. That all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going through like a bunch of greatest hits. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. We obviously have a lot of stuff to talk through with the Brave Arsenal today, and uh, greatest hits, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. And of course, last but very not least, down at the end, the one and only Kelsey Rice, systems designer here at Bungie. Kelsey, how you doing today? Hello, I'm doing great. All right. Well, obviously, the uh, the third verse, same as the second and the first. By the way, I have their volume completely maxed out, guys. For some reason, Bungie's volume is always really low. Um, and I work on a lot of fun stuff like quests and pursuits and progressions, a lot of like spreadsheet design, which the I really love. The fabric that holds all of our <laughs> adventures together, honestly. Yes. Very exciting. Well, obviously, you've had, had a big hand in Into the Light as well today. We're going to go ahead and dive into that here in just a bit. Um, but, you know, before we go ahead and dive on, and is there anything you guys are excited about today in particular, or should we just go ahead and show rather than just tell? What do you think? Let's show it is. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and, and dive on in. <clears throat> dive on in, rather. So we're going to start off. We have a brand new social space, the Hall of Champions, that we're going to go ahead and check on out. Kelsey, shall you? Uh, Kelsey's the one who's responsible for taking us through that. So <laughs> shall you return to the throne world, obviously, and dive on in? Bring me your tithes. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> there are tithes <laughs> to be gathered. Uh, now, while we're on the way, uh, Tom, the Hall of Champions is, is a brand new social space here in Destiny 2. Uh, where is this? Where are we going to, like, where's this place been? Why are we checking it out now? So Shax has carved out just a, a little, little bit of the, the backstage of the tower, yeah. uh, and you're gonna see a, a few little, little fun nods here to, to Destiny history. Yep. All right. We'll um, now on screen. Yeah, we've got Kelsey on screen here. We got Sweepy Bot, uh, and this is actually the lead up to the Hall of Champions. <laughs> this is where they keep it all the time. Yeah. This is where you know th there's an off season for a, for a lot storage? of the holiday events. Yeah. A little and, pile of uh, snow. And was this storage? Yeah, a little snow. There, there's some uh, some greenery. This is interesting. All right, so we've, we found a bit of the storage room to a degree. Uh, so he's he's carved out space yeah, maybe she's that holding is, uh, been hiding in plain view potentially for other sweeper bots or, or red jacks around the tower. And there's, oh, there's some stuff from uh, the, uh, the Onslaught, this ADU. Oh, that's right, uh, yeah. Little, little... Noah put it here himself. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and, and all the space, like, uh, if, if we just take a, a step forward, you're gonna, get, there we go. Here's the Champions Hall. Here we The Hall go. of Champions. All right, so this um, is the Hall of Champions. And just like uh, Zer kind of carved out Eternity. Outbreak for, mission? Uh, for the 30th anniversary, uh, Shax has, has kind of set this space aside for us and into the light where the, all your armor, your weapons, your rewards. This is going to be your, your home base for Into the Light. Excellent. Awesome. All right. Well, Kelsey, uh, can you go ahead and show us a little bit? We're going to go ahead and walk up here. We see a whole bevy of chests, actually. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and start there. What are we What are we looking at, and how do we go ahead and start opening, cracking these open, rather? Yeah. So as you can see, this space is just full of chests. As you can see here all the, the class icons on the floor, a little bit like 30th. 
uh, you can come here to uh, redeem this currency, uh, trophies of bravery, that you're going to earn from completing Onslaught and from playing the broad game in Destiny. Um, so all of these trophies here, if you progress your hype with Shax, uh, you'll be able to spend them here at all these chests to get a really cool set of armor. I can pull open my character so you can see what that looks like on the hunter. That's Ooh. right. Also, too, so for the folks at home, uh, we, we went ahead and mentioned up. this as well online, but as a quick reminder, this is actually an armor set that is, that's inspired by year one of Destiny 2. Um, Tom, this is the, the parade armor set, I believe, is what we're referring yeah, to it as? So, like, the, it's the, 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 the uh, yeah, D2 year one parade armor. That's right. Yeah, you, yeah. You had it in Homecoming. It's kind of a classic set. We're, again, like, full circle here. With, yeah. We were, like, beginning the Destiny 2 saga there, and now we're kind of, you know, ending the fight here. We're getting ready to take the fight to the Witness, and Shax has yeah. got this, this iconic set of armor. We're calling it the parade armor uh, 2.0. Yeah. And um, they, they, everyone can earn it, it's available to all players, Excellent. and uh, there's some other cosmetics we can show off here that kind of play with it too. Very nice, and also too, for uh, folks out there, we obviously, we have the Hunter here. Actually, Kelsey, can we check out the uh, the armor set one more time? Yeah. For the folks at home. Uh, also too, so this is a, an up close and personal look, obviously, at this armor set, uh, which will be available to, to everyone that goes ahead and jumps into Into the Light. Um, also too, there is a Titan set and a Warlock set, we should also say. Uh, that you can go ahead and see in the key it art as well, really but good, obviously guys. this will be arriving on April 9th, so you'll get a chance to go ahead and go hands on. But um, yeah, it's looking fresh, honestly. I'm not I love too, the class I, I identity. Be upset to go ahead and don that armor. Oh yeah. boy! Oh, the really stats look bad. The stats look these, bad, right? We're working on all this stuff because we we're kind of waiting to finally see that that set and finally being able to equip it in game was just such a cool experience. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> all right, so we're obviously equipped. We've got an armor set that we're going to go ahead and be chasing down, but. Uh, we're now hanging out with with Shax, and is, is that our site over there as well? Yes, that is our site. Um, and one other, one last chest I want to point out here. Oh, too. please. This one is going to be your hub for um, just grinding out weapons. So uh, th those those uh, trophies that you'll be collecting with Shax, you can just keep redeeming them here, um, and you'll be able to get all your guns here. Um, mm. And this one here is uh, we're bringing back the gift of the thunder gods. Uh, so if you need to catch up on your power level to make sure that you're like ready to hop right in, that's something you can do as well. Sweet. That's right. And honestly, it's been it's uh, again as a reminder. This is available to all players. And so if you've got any friends that maybe aren't quite at that powerful cap, also too actually should double check. This will bring folks up to the powerful cap. Was it powerful, not pinnacle? That's right. Okay, perfect. All right. So for your friends that want to go ahead and dive in right alongside That's you, amazing. even if they maybe haven't played you know very much recently, they got a chance to go ahead and just catch right up. They'll be ready. Be ready for day one. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to Shax actually as a starting point. So how are we going to be working with Shax? Obviously, he's opened up his den of antiquities to us. But uh, Kelsey, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So we need to pull out all the stops in defeating the witness. So uh, Shax has opened up his brave arsenal for us. And as you can see, Shax is really like the shining star of this area. We've been I've been kind of panning by all these hollow Shaxes that line the space, which I'll be happy to talk about in a moment. Oh yes. Um, but yeah, let's 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 go talk to him and see what he's got. Um, so uh, over the course of Into the Light, as you earn uh, earn reputation with him, you're going to be able to progress and get all this this cool stuff. Mm -hmm. um, one thing in particular I want to point out. Interesting. This key. A a super black key. Is that is that what I'm seeing over there, Kelsey? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and I wonder where that goes. Um, so. Maybe, maybe people that are D1 vets potentially from back in the day might r remember this. Is this, uh, what's this, what's this symbiote we're looking back at like, <laughs> back here? Yeah, right now it's, it's pretty powerful. It's in containment. But if you keep playing into the light, you'll be able to get access to the keys you need to unlock this. Um, and get access to the shader. Oh, it's so good. All right. So obviously, too, yes, as a reminder, uh, heads up to everyone. So one of the ultimate rewards available through this will indeed be the return of the Super Black Shader. Uh, it's back, finally. It's back. There's probably some song lyrics to go along with that. I couldn't tell you what they are. <laughs> but I will say to the Destiny Fashion subreddit, uh, we are prepared for you to go ahead and take this on of wholesale. So actually, Great. let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and just equip Super Black and give it a look really quickly. Bang. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Chat, my feel. God. It does not get much better than that. Oh my god, it just literally Shax killed right. every yeah. hunter. So Shax is obviously going to be there to help us get rewards. In addition to the Brave Arsenal and the armor, Super Black is waiting for us. Uh, so tell us a little bit about our site as well, actually. He's, uh, he's, I'm not sure if many people in the chat know about him. He's usually lived in lore entries, but um, let's go ahead and get a look and see what we're going to be working with him on. Yeah, so our site has a lot of quests for us. Um, and we did some, some pretty interesting things, in my opinion, with with uh, some of the quests you can pick up from our site. 
um, they're going to unlock a couple things. They also have very jury fun duty puns that we had a lot, <laughs> a right lot of succession. fun working on. Um, Edge Lord. So, uh, for every single weapon that we're going to be talking about today, there's a corresponding quest. Um, once you've completed all the quest for that back, weapon, okay. you're going to be able to unlock access to that weapon, dropping as rewards. But there's two other really cool things uh, that we can talk about there. Um, one, we have these special limited edition uh, appearances for the Brave mm. Arsenal. Yeah. Um, so completing these quests, you're going to get a guaranteed curated. Uh, copy of these li limited edition weapons, Excellent. Um, which I'm happy to show because they look rad. Um, and you'll unlock attunement, which is something I can talk about in a second. Absolutely. Yeah, so let's take a look at some of these. So, yeah, so here's a look, of course. Uh, mm. Obviously, for the folks at home, they may they may remember this one. I get a hunch that chat obviously oh is really excited. Oh, my God. But, uh, I know. Impulse so, so. amplifiers <laughs> on there. Has returned. Uh, so this is uh, a quick look at the mountaintop. Obviously, uh, Chris, we're going to dive in more with oh, the whole uh, Brave Arsenal in a little bit. But this is, uh, I believe she touched on the limited edition edi versions You're of these, the ornaments there, that exist on there. Can you tell us a little bit about what limited edition variants of these are that are available over the course of Into the Light? Sure, yeah. So the Brave Arsenal weapons will drop from Onslaught. Uh, oh, my God. And talking a little bit about attunement and whatnot here. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, low chance that one will drop as a limited edition variant, which comes pre-equipped with a super shiny ornament that's yeah. locked to that weapon. Yeah. Uh, so the um, Edge Transit here is uh, the limited <laughs> edition <laughs> variant. Uh, these are kind of exotic levels of fancy. Yeah. So you can't apply shaders to the ornaments. You have to remove the ornament first. Got it. Um, the ornaments will only be available up until the final shape launches. Yeah. Uh, or the, the limited edition variants. Makes sense. Yeah. So the base versions will continue to be available. All right. So this is the ultimate I was there version with the limited yeah. edition on there. But other than that, after the final shape launches, people will still be able to get these weapons and keep farming for them. Yeah. There's oh, a, my like, cool God. Drop with, uh, double Hammerhead players, Rampage but killing but tally. Gameplay differences. So if you've got a great uh, base weapon, you don't need to go and get yeah, just cosmetic. Weapons. Cosmetic only. Fair enough. Makes sense. Absolutely. All right. We're going to be getting, able to test these out in a little bit. So, <clears throat> obviously, we're going to go through all of these here in just a bit. Chat, there's a taste of just a few. Uh, we're glad that you get a chance to go ahead and check it out. Um, but also, too, for the folks that want to go ahead and I'm just ready to break the game right now. Out. Kelsey, I believe you just mentioned attunement. Can you tell us a little bit more about that before we move on? Yes, I'd love to. So, uh, one cool thing that you can do when completing these these weapon quests, once they're available at our site, is attune to a weapon. So, let's say that there's, there's a weapon you really want to drop. Uh, you can bend uh, luck in your favor and make it more likely for that weapon to appear. Um, so, for example, I can do that now. Let's do, let's do, let's do Recluse. Yeah. So. Chat seems to be pretty hyped on Recluse. <laughs> so, um, if you're looking around, you'll see there's all of these these shacks everywhere, which we just had an absolute blast uh, uh, working with and coming up with. Um, and once you've unlocked attunement, you can just freely do this at any time. You can you can change your attunement at any time. Um, you can choose which weapon has a higher chance of dropping. So I'm going to do it now. Okay. There we okay. go. Got our thumbs up. We're Get good. Get the affirmation from Shaxx. Never hurts. <laughs> yeah, I can always use more affirmations. From it Shaxx. never hurts, honestly. <laughs> he shouts them very effectively, I might add. Yes. Um, so, so yeah. Um, at any point, um, you can just visit another one. I could even just go and. You know, on a tune and deactivate and retune. Re yeah. Content. Just once, once you've once you've unlocked it, you can do that at any time. Awesome. So yeah, pick 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 your favorites that you want to chase, and and uh, you'll have a much higher chance of getting them. That is Excellent. fantastic. All right. Obviously, the, uh, so the Hall of Champions playing, has a, have a lot in store. There's even more, obviously, chat than is even here. But uh, we see what you're saying in chat. I feel the electricity in the air. I should also note one more thing. Uh, you should all go out and farm with impunity to go ahead and get the rolls you want, ultimately, because with the arrival of the final shape, we'll indeed be adding 100 more vault slots. So go out there, grab the rolls, grab 20 yes! seven edge transit, and hold on to them until you get a chance to Google which one has the god roll. All up to you. But we, we don't you know have to clear our vaults! Shape, you'll be getting 100 more false slots. So go ahead and dive on in and grab whatever you want to go ahead and chase. The uh, Elsie's driver. Right. Well, I think that's a solid tour of the Hall of Champions. Um, I think maybe at this point we go ahead and start dive on, diving on in with the Brave Arsenal. Tom, what are you thinking? Yeah, I'll hop in. I'll, let's uh, go 
clean out some lost sectors. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. We got some demos to run as well. All right, everyone. So this is as a quick look at the Hall of Champions as well. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and dive on in and look at the Brave Arsenal. Um, now, Chris, obviously you were intrinsically involved with kind of setting this whole thing up, with building the Brave Arsenal, deciding what was out there. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how you guys landed on this iconic set of, of Destiny weapons for Into the Light? Yeah, I and mean, we all have our own favorite weapons internally, uh, and wanted to make sure that we delivered on a ton of nostalgia for the whole uh, like Destiny 2 weapon set. Yeah. If you look on Reddit or Twitter, there are you know, hundreds of weapons that these could be. <laughs> yeah. We had to narrow it down to 12. It's like we couldn't reasonably fit any more into the activity. Yeah. We couldn't necessarily oh afford to make God. any more than that. Here we there go. She so it's, is. Uh, yeah, a whole set of weapons from across mm. uh, Destiny's history. A few recent ones. Uh, most of them are from from earlier in detail. Yeah. Got that Rasmussen. So for those who have been terrorized by Blast Furnace and the Crucible, it's back now. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah honestly, oh. Tom, let's go ahead and just kind of walk through these. Let's go ahead and take us at a, a hung jury. I see next as well. Sure. I can just. Do you want me to okay. just, I'll just mouse over? I'm here. Blast Furnace, hung jury. Hung jury returns as well. Session. Uh -huh. For anyone that hasn't had a chance to dive into Deepstone Crypt, they can get a, their hands on a raid weapon as well. Yeah, I should mm -hmm. just touch on Succession. And yeah, a, please. Four variants in there as well. But these are fairly recent weapons, but yeah. they are, by default, you have to own the release that those raids came out in. So you have to own Beyond Light if you want to get Succession. You have right. to own Witch Queen if you want to get Forbearance. Yeah. The uh, Onslaught versions of these weapons, or the Brave Arsenal versions, are available to all players. So you get a taste of what, like, the raw power of a raid weapon. Yeah. Which honestly, once you get succession in your hands, suddenly everything feels so alive. Like it's just, it's like a ton of bricks. Uh, let's see. We also have. Okay. There we go. Midnight I'm Coup. Uh, different roles for anyone who have. watched last week, thank you, Noah, as well, for going ahead and showing this off. Uh, Midnight Coup obviously makes an incredibly triumphant return. Oh, just oh, actually, can you adjust it just so it shows the waves in the in the shader, Tom? There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just, that never gets old, honestly. Nice. Harkens back to one of my favorite times in the Black Armory. Excellent. All right, so we have Again, a, a still full a 140, list here. So we've got over, uh, all of them in the primary slot. Um, let's go ahead and move on down to the uh, the green ammo selection as well. Obviously, Recluse, chat, you've all noticed that. We're just as happy Massive that arms. it's back as you are. Um, let's go ahead oh, and take a look at what else we got in way. Oh my God, it's going to be sinful. Luna's Howl, of course. Actually, in particular with Luna's Howl, I know we were talking about this a little bit earlier, but you know, these weapons are not necessarily their, their previous estate just kind of held in stasis, but you guys have brought them forward with new perks. You've kind of done some redesigns as well. Um, with Luna Howls in particular, you were mentioning that uh, the Magnificent Howl perk has undergone a rework okay, as well. Okay, still 140. Uh, yeah, in its or original is... shipping form, uh, that was way too strong. It would let me uh, two tap a guardian in PvP incredibly fast with the perk up. Yeah. Uh, you know, 180 RPM. So uh, we've brought Lunas Hell forward as a 140 RPM hand cannon, but it retains the precision frame, so it's super easy to control the recoil. Yeah. We've also redesigned the Magnificent Hell perk. Mm -hmm. uh, so that now lets you build up stacks of super bullets. Um, a little bit reminiscent of, of Hawkmoon. Yeah. Uh, with precision final blows. Yeah. Uh, mm. And then you can unleash those on Guardians to do massive damage. You can get a two tap, but it requires a little bit more effort. Yeah. And obviously a very strong in PVE as well. Yeah. Got to bide your time and actually land those headshots. Yeah. I'm saying that mostly to myself in the mirror as I, <laughs> as I get upset for losing another round of trials, but. So we had uh, two hand cannons in this release Midnight Coup and Lunas Howl. That's right. Yeah. Um, we assigned those to two different designers. Yeah. And there's a competition going on to see which one is more popular or is more effective. Oh, really? So, so everyone right. out there in chat right now should let us know which one of those two ends up being their favorite. Yep. Not forgotten is not on the list. To settle internally here by the sounds of it. <laughs> which one do you think is going to win, Chris? Uh, I'm a little biased. A little biased? Like, I, I have my uh, Midnight Coup from the Leviathan raid still in my vault. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm deeply attached to that weapon. Fair enough. All right. We'll see. See here. All right. Uh, also, Elsie's. So, Elsie's actually, here's rifle. a cool one as well. Yeah. Uh, this is no longer the stranger's rifle. This is Elsie's rifle now. Yeah, Elsie's no longer a stranger. That's right, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a really iconic Destiny 1 weapon. Wow. Everyone who played through the Destiny 1 campaign would have acquired as yeah. a stranger's Legendary rifle. Legendary No Time uh, to It's explain. come forward with as Desperate. close to its original feel as we could manage, uh, updated for the Destiny 2 sandbox. It's got a ton of uh, cool new traits. It's really very, very strong, uh, high impact. I yeah. imagine it's rifle. probably going to be stronger than uh, No it's Time. The Rewind Rounds hook, uh, oh, which, yeah. which we made for Vault of Glass. Yeah. Uh, the D2 version, which harks back to the, um, the the original perks on the Stranger's Rifle in D1 as well. And this one already looks uh, filthy, if I might say, with Zen Moment and Desperado on there. Like Desperado, that's... yeah. <laughs> Did the room get colder, or what just happened, honestly? <laughs> Uh, and also, too, so there's a new, actually, as long as we're there, um, Tom, if you wouldn't mind actually opening that back up, there's a new origins trait, origin trait, pardon me, as well on these. 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, so yeah, the indomitability trait, uh, final blows with a light subclass equipped grenade, uh, grant grenade energy and with a dark subclass equipped grant melee energy. Excellent. Uh, so you get like that sort of duality and they're, they're reasonably strong perks. Yeah, designed to keep you in the fight either way. Yep. Excellent. All right, Tom, let's go ahead and keep checking out. What else do we have in store here? Forbearance as well. So this is you were talking about obviously getting that taste of raid weapons. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys go ahead and bring Forbearance forward also to Into the Light? Like what, did you add new perks into the pool or what did you guys end up doing to kind of retain that classic feel? Yeah, so we wanted it to feel like uh, the Witch Queen version, mm -hmm. but with slightly updated perks. So the, the perk pools are fairly similar, but with a couple of spicy additions. So you'll notice Disruption Break left column on a a waveframe grenade launcher, super, super strong. Yeah. It's not something that you get on the original version. It's going to be disgusting. Yeah, but it's what? got all of the old classics. Yeah. It's got the, the new um, uh, indomitability origin trait instead mm -hmm. of the soul drinker trait. And that's the same is true of any other weapons which had already shipped with origin traits. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks so good with that, that ornament on there. And of course, I think that was that a, a limited edition ornament on the recluse as well that you have over there? Yep. That's, yeah, the, that's base. the base yeah. roll of recluse. Oh, let's take a look. Beating Frenzy, Master of Arms there we guy. Go. That's, yeah. again, the ultimate, I was there. The, the, As you go the ahead OG. and begin your showdown with the witness, with the arrival of the final shape, it doesn't hurt to have one of these sitting on your hip, obviously, yeah. to go ahead and make a statement the moment you walk into the room. Yeah, and this one is the, uh, the curated version. The natural drops of mm -hmm. the limited edition variants do have um, double Double per count? That's right. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Excellent. That dynamics right roll for of course, for our really beloved good. Edge Transit. Yeah, Couldn't keep we were, it away if we wanted to. When we were looking at the um, fan favorite weapons, like we wanted to bring forward some of the strongest weapons from Forsaken. Yeah. He has like fond memories of <laughs> blasting away raid bosses with that transit. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. There's amazing, amazing <laughs> yeah, no one using with it. this weapon. Yeah. We actually brought it forward as one of the strongest uh, heavy ammo grenade launches. In yeah. The I was wow. saying, we were talking about that earlier. You're saying this one just hits like an absolute deconstruct ton of and oh, cast. Yeah. You can see some of the perks there. It's uh, it's pretty wild. I mean, honestly, yeah, this is already looking pretty good. This is one that would obviously find a home in my loadout. My Void one specifically, but I'm also picky about that kind of thing. Superb uh, ammo, What else Connie. do we have here in this bottom row? The one and only, the Falling Guillotine. Now, actually, one thing that, that you mentioned uh, as we were kind of talking about this earlier as well that was kind of cool is this is also going to be probably the first uh, sword outside of those available in Crota's End, I believe, um, that has sword logic on it as well. Uh, yeah, that's right. Roll with sword it seemed like a great opportunity to uh, put that perk on something that isn't from that raid, and yeah. a little bit earlier than we would normally put uh, raid perks onto a new weapon. Yeah. I'm also going to echo like chat here for a second. Is that Eager Edge I see on there? That is an Eager Edge. Yeah, okay. it'll only be the. It's just sword logic is going to be on the sword guys. Outside of um, 30th anniversary. It makes sense. Yeah. Ha have access to that. It would trait. basically just be the slammer and then the uh, the falling guillotine yeah, from. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, and this one has like the classic void perk. Uh, combo of a repulsive brace, yeah. destabilizing rounds. It's good fun and a lot, lot of. Ooh, that's going to be great old, honestly, on vortex yeah. frame. And then, of course, we're also joined by oh, yeah, the hammerhead. That is so good. Honestly, it's, as, long as, so we're, good. as long as you're dipping your toe into the world of the black armory, this is obviously one that has to come forward. Everyone's favorite legendary machine gun. Yeah, seriously, it's, you can't go past it. it just mm. from the sound of the rate of fire, everything about it just is is one that lives on in my memories and my dream journals. Honestly, at this point. Yeah. Uh, this is looking fantastic. All right, so we have a whole cast of characters. Now, Tom, you've got some uh, some loadouts set up. You've roll, got dude. some lost sectors that you're going to go ahead and start diving in on. Um, I vote you go in there and start tearing it up. <laughs> We're already there. Okay, that's fantastic. A classic mountaintop recluse combo here. Yeah. And there's some new stuff with uh, mountaintop, too, where you can... Rocket jump. <laughs> That's right. So I was actually, I'm so glad we got to that point this early because uh, one of the things that was really cool about sort of seeing this development process behind the scenes was, you know, obviously one of the core tenants was to make sure that you're retaining that classic feel of these weapons and kind of what yeah. made them so great to begin with. But you've kind of done some redesigns and expanded even just on the on the loot pool, or pardon me, on the perk pool rather. Um, how did you guys kind of go about the process of sort of rebuilding these weapons for this modern era of Destiny? Yeah, I mean, we held off on bringing Mountaintop uh, into the sort of modern destiny because it was just way too strong in both PvP and in PvE. Yeah. Uh, in Oof. PvP, it was like a, a pretty unpleasant meta when Mountaintop was part of <laughs> Yeah, it was. Out, so we, we definitely didn't want it to be able to one-hit kill, uh, even with a direct hit in PvP anymore. Fair. So we've reduced that a little bit. Uh, but we also um, saw how excited people were for the Danger Zone rocket launcher perk, uh, yeah. launching you into the air. So we've made that part of the base behavior of the new um, micro cell frame. That's amazing. So we do super um, low self damage and give yourself a massive physics impulse. Yeah. Um, 
the, uh, the, the Team Fortress 2 soldier mains are just suddenly dusting off yes. their rocket launchers yes. in real time right now, obviously. Uh, so obviously, too, is you know going ahead and adding just not only to the, the perk pool, but kind of the intrinsic feel of these weapons. Uh, were there any others in particular when you guys were working on them where you're like, yes, this is this is how this change needs to go? Like, obviously, yeah. Magnificent Howl got a change, but is there anything else in that pool that feels like it was really kind of a cool leap forward for these weapons? Uh, I think Blast Furnace is a good example because the yeah. Black Armory version rolled with scopes, mm -hmm. uh, which, like, everyone would just... Pick the best scope. Like internally, we felt like the Rasmussen ISA Rasmussen was the best. Scope yep. was, uh, like by far the best. Really, really clean. Yeah. Um, and with the changes to uh, damage fall off on weapons, zoom doesn't matter that much anymore. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. So it comes pre-equipped with that scope Perfect. geometry, but it can roll barrels instead. So you get all the benefits of stats. Oh, awesome. Stats are already pretty juiced. Yeah. Uh, but you have that that classic scope geo. Actually, also, too, to channel chat one more time, mm -hmm. uh, as a quick heads up as well, these weapons, while they won't be craftable, they are going to be enhanceable, is that correct? Correct, yeah. So uh, these weapons will retroactively My be God. enhanceable when the final shape comes out. So any drops that you get uh, during this initial period, you'll be able to enhance them. Excellent, okay. So you want to make sure to really hold on to those god rolls that Light.gg went ahead and told you about. Holy yeah. shit! Enhanced Master right, so Tom, Arms. You have, you've, you've swapped your loadout now. Is this Blast Furnace we see you were? Yeah, you were just talking about Blast Furnace, so I, I thought I'd hop over to it. It's the Matic, yeah. It's nice and smooth, like it always was. <laughs> Uh, Kelsey, actually, too, on, on your side, you know, obviously having this new tapestry of rewards to work with has been pretty exciting. As you kind of went ahead and sort of hatched your plans of how players would go about Dude. getting these, kind of what role did, did these weapons play, I guess, in the overall reward structure? Yeah, of course. Uh, so we wanted the rewards of this release to be all about the weapons. And yeah. The shining stars, they're, they're awesome. Um, so uh, I saw people were asking a little bit about what we're going to be getting from Onslaught. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of chests in there, um, and every single chest has a weapon in it, um, and all of those chests can, uh, can, can react to attunement. So if you attune to a weapon, Anytime you see a chest, it's gonna happen. So Excellent. Uh, every every wave, oh, every set, not okay. every wave, that'd be crazy. Every every <laughs> set, uh, there's a chest with a weapon in it. If you do it at higher difficulty, there yeah. are two chests. They both have weapons in them. And if you keep the ADU alive throughout the entirety of onslaught, there's yeah. another bonus chest available. Um, so you can get a lot if you if you just keep yourself kicking and, yeah. and get all the way through there. Keep the ADU up. Uh, there's a lot of guns to be had. So those folks who are going to dive into the Legend 50 Wave version of Onslaught are going to be well rewarded for those efforts. <laughs> That's, I, I'm asking partially for myself, obviously, as well, and my fire team at home who might be listening. <laughs> uh, to, the weapons you know, team is really excited about attunement because it, like, yeah. it uh, gives players some control over the drops that they get, mm -hmm. but it retains the excitement of those drops. Like, you will get your like blast furnace dropping from the chest. You don't have to go and focus it or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, which, yeah, we love that. Actually, also too is, you know, you guys are also players of the game. Chris, oh, yeah. were there any roles or weapons in particular where it was just your personal favorite that you had a lot of fun with in a play test or? Probably of these weapons, my favorite is blast furnace. Yeah. Uh, with that, that classic scope and uh, the role that I've got on mine, the board that I'm going to try and get in retail, yeah. is uh, Head Seeker Kill Clip, which oh. is like just really nasty in PvP. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to. I'll put Dude. another few hundred hours uh, in Crystal. <laughs> That's on right the same you, weapon, honestly. guys. So put Head Secret Kill then Clip. Then that will be the one that'll pick up immediately after. <clears throat> uh, Kelsey, also, too, is, you know, I know we were talking a little bit earlier. You've been deep in the What is this power well. creep right now? So that means, in addition to the Brave Arsenal, you've got everything else at your beck and call. What are some <laughs> cool builds you've been working on, honestly, to go ahead and really emphasize these new weapons? Yeah, um, I've, been, I've been really enjoying. Uh, Solar, Solar Warlock I found is really, really fun in Onslaught because you can find a lane and just completely nuke it if you get your like unlimited grenades going. You can just <laughs> completely destroy it. So I've been really partial to uh, Luna's Howl. Uh, I, <laughs> fair. Um, yeah, I, I tend to get a little uh, a little feral, a little too excited. So I was having like kill clip on it or something can, uh, can give me that, that extra staying power I need to keep that ADU up. <laughs> it's like it's part of you got to be in the fight as much Your as possible. Your clip is going to be really good that, in that. Partially game as a void yep. hunter who crutches on invisibility and runs away <laughs> right away, so I understand and respect the hustle that I don't end up having. <laughs> uh, also, too, we got <clears throat> a question from chat uh, from Lil. Camino, I think is how you pronounce the name. My, my mistake if you, if you get it correct. Um, but just to reiterate, uh, will these weapons be attainable after the final shape arrives? Uh, yes, the base weapons will be, mm -hmm. uh, but the limited edition variants with those uh, sweet ornaments will not. Excellent. And that right. that so being again, the curator sure rules. Go ahead and dive on in once uh, Into the Light is here. Make sure you get that, that I was there card, more or less. At least, again, speaking for myself. Uh, 
So also too is I heard you guys mention briefly curated roles as well, because kind of like a part of the the quest uh, process was it with Shax or our site rather? Uh, with our site, yeah. Thank you. That's right. So is this ones that you guys have set up where it's like this is this is the go-to role? This is our from our opinion like one of our favorites or um, what was the process of kind of building those curated roles? Uh, yeah, we try to deliver something which is like an extremely good role, mm -hmm. not necessarily the single perfect role, because we want you to have a reason to go in and get excited for those drops. Yeah. Um, but like we would say, they're a you know, 70, 80 percent god role. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. On okay. the way, certainly. Yeah. And also, too, is remember, everyone, we're getting 100 more vault slots once the final shape comes out, so go ahead and just farm away. Now's the time. Yep. Uh, sorry, Kelsey, were you going to say something more? Yeah, we also just w wanted to make sure people weren't completely at the mercy of RNG when it comes to getting these limited edition variants. Mm -hmm. So if you log in, you do those quests at our site, um, you can get one guaranteed copy of a limited edition of each weapon with, a, with that curated tool. Yeah. See, we're getting, again, I, I think, obviously, Tom is here in the heat of battle, so to speak, but um, the uh, the origin trait, we just got another question about, actually. Mm. So, for the folks at home, it is, it's indomitability, or? Yes. Thank you, all right. And that one, uh, can you, again, walk through that, that origin trait for us one more time? What's the percentage uh, yeah, so of stress? On, on final blows, it grants you uh, grenade energy if you're running a light subclass. Oh, here we go, we got it on screen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, which would be Arc Void or Solo, mm -hmm. uh, or melee energy if you're running a darkness subclass, which would be Stasis right. or Strand. Got it, okay. So I can go in there as a stasis man and just throw all the shurikens I possibly have. Yeah, there's a more technical thing for that. I'm sorry, I got it wrong <laughs> out of the gate. Uh, all right, let's see here. Um, and Here's also, too, actually, uh, you know, we talked kind of at the beginning about what it was like to sort of pare down this list mm. of, of weapons down to 12. Can you tell us a little bit about that process? I can't imagine it was anywhere near as simple. <laughs> 12 was a really small number when you're looking at that, uh, that set of weapons. And yeah. if we'd gone by, uh, lists on the internet or even internally yeah. could easily have ended up being half hand cannons. We had to restrict <laughs> ourselves to two. Fair. There were a lot that could easily have made the cut that we yeah. just, just couldn't we just couldn't fit them in. That's right. I mean, honestly, though, yeah. between Midnight Coup and Lunas Howell, like, a very, very solid cast to go ahead and come out of the gate here with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really strong. And they, yeah, uh, we definitely wanted to get that that spread of experience across the, the first few years of Destiny 2 as well. Yeah, honestly. And also, too, is even, you know, recalling all the way back to the Black Armory. You know, that's, I think, a, a set of weapons that so many of us think back to so fondly. Um, you know, again, I think one of the goals here was to go ahead and retain that original feel. Um, you know, you guys went ahead and added in a bunch of new perks. Can you tell us what that process was? Was like in terms of making sure those perks matched up with that feel of the weapon? Yeah, and in cases where we have multiple weapons in the same archetype shipping, so we've got two pulse rifles, two hand cannons, uh, we assigned those to different designers and like made sure that the, uh, the roles that they occupy in the sandbox were sufficiently different. Um, we also would look at the most popular roles that the weapons had originally and make sure that those still appear um, on the weapons. It meant having to redesign some perks, which would be too strong in today's sandbox, Yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, and then introducing, like when you, when you go and you look at uh, a blast bonus in your vault or something, you're like, man, I wish I could roll X perk that came out after that, right? Like, yeah. And made sure we put a few of those in there as well. Yeah, and there's also, uh, I'm not sure if we've seen it on screen yet, but there's a new perk that'll be joining this pool as well, won't there? Uh, yeah, there is. There's, uh, in this build, it's called Last Stand. Uh, the shipping name is different. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty sweet perk. If we could bring up the um, description of that when Tom is out of danger. <laughs> Which weapon is that? Uh, there was one, it was on Blast Furnace, I think. Yeah. Let me yeah. Shut up. Oh, there we go. All right, well, we'll, <laughs> let, we'll let him defend himself yes. briefly. Yes. Uh, but we do have a, a couple questions from Chad as well. Um, uh, so there's one that asks, uh, Flo's Knuckles, I believe. There we go. Can we grind Onslaught multiple times for multiple drops? I'm assuming this is just go ahead and dive on it and grind to your heart's content. Yes, you'll be getting you'll get a, getting weapons every run. You'll also I'm be getting uh, currency from shacks mm -hmm. that you can you can bring back and you can uh, throw in that chest that I showed you so you can just keep opening that chest. Uh, so just, yeah, just keep going. Dive on it, honestly. Yeah, go ahead and chase that roll, whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, also, too, one more quick question from chat. Uh, Depending on what that buff Mega is, you know. one, two, five, three, five, eight. Come on, try corn. Uh, asks, can you take the limited edition ornament off and put it on another copy of the weapon, or is it just on that one weapon? So you can remove it. You can't put it on something else. It's cool. locked to the weapon that it dropped on. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, honestly, when it looks that good, you just gotta go ahead and stick with what you got, you know? <laughs> yeah, if players have a favorite shader that they want to put on a weapon, they can remove it and put the shader on. Yeah, that's true. You can't shade the ornament. You can go ahead and photo finish it up to your heart's yeah, content, yeah. obviously, that opportunity. Or super black, obviously, when the time arrives. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. So, Tom, what are you running right now? 
I've just been hopping around with all the weapons here. Now I've got Blast Furnace and LC's rifle on. I know no, double primary isn't. Yeah, yeah, pay meta, attention to what the buff percentage is. Meta for the sake of They're both pretty, pretty, pretty solid weapons. <laughs> for the purposes of illustration. No, here's Three, that two, new perk that you both were talking about, Last Stand. On Again, reminder, this Blast name will furnace. be changing in, in the live version. Yep. Yeah, so weapon final grows, blows grant bonus damage. Uh, melee and grenade final blows grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. So once you get this perk really rolling, it's very strong. Yeah. You can sustain it. Nice way to go ahead and clear out a bunch of red bars and then take down that yellow bar with ease if yep. you go ahead and do everything correctly. Super Black is back, Cartel. Yeah, it ties nicely into the origin trait as well, because the origin trait yeah. grants you energy oh, for your abilities, stacking buff. Okay, and okay. then you get uh, bonus damage for getting ability final blows. Yeah, it really creates, <clears throat> creates that loop, honestly. You just become yeah. the self-fulfilling prophecy of death at that point, which, as a guardian, is never a bad place to find <laughs> yourself, frankly. Uh, let's see here. Actually, also, too, is, you know, I know we touched, obviously, on Chris's personal favorite being Blast Virtus. Kelsey, was there anything uh, when you mm. saw this land back on the list of the Brave Arsenal where you were like, finally, that one's back? Mm. I, was, I, was, I was real excited about Luna's Hell. Luna's <laughs> Hell. I mean, that's yep. just smart, honestly. That just makes sense. <laughs> Tom, how about you? Is there anything in particular that, that you know, obviously, having taken such a, a big hand in helping design and sort of define all this stuff, um, you know, what are your, your favorite weapons and roles that have come out of this? I'm, I'm pretty pretty basic, pretty easy. I, I really am excited about Recluse uh, and, and, and Mountaintop. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just love that combo of being able to like get in close with a, an SMG and get, get the damage perk going and feeling really powerful. Dude, who and who doesn't love that combo? Do the grenade launcher and fire off some like little mini rockets and be able to play around with getting a little more airborne. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like, it's just fun. I can already imagine some strand hunter doing that above me and then immediately diving on top of me in the and, and I look forward to like, you know, the accidentally not accidentally blowing myself up. Right? It's a lot harder to do now. Like I, I remember with Mountaintop back in the day, I, I would like I would just like shoot my feet on purpose <laughs> and like it was usually like an instant death. And so you can really uh, you get a lot more up close and personal with it. Yeah, let's see. Fit nicely into a lot of builds. I'm gonna say I can already see a Tommy's matchbook build with that. <laughs> Just floating up there in the sky as a warlock, just murdering everyone. But that is to say, now there's an opportunity for more than just warlocks to be the floating weapon platforms out there in the game. Yeah. I know, Kelsey. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we can share. <laughs> yes. We can share the abilities. Uh, Particularly uh, with the redesign of uh, Manticore, there's a, a fun strategy. I don't know how super effective it is, but yeah. like mountaintop to launch yourself way up into the air. Yeah. And use Manticore afterward. Manticore. Yeah. And you can just hover around. Just seems like a, a fever dream I had one time, honestly. Uh, also, too, for the folks at home that may not have seen the Manticore uh, kind of redesign, can you tell us a little bit, too, about how the, the intrinsic perk on that works now? Uh, yeah, so it's the base functionality of the way you use the weapon is fairly similar. We've uh, tightened up uh, its activation, so it will no longer activate if you're running downstairs and that kind of thing, which is pretty irritating. Uh, you can also just deactivate it by holding reload, and we'll do that quick special reload animation oh, very nice. before you have to wait for it to expire or um, like switch off the weapon. Yeah. Uh, and then the uh, catalyst, instead of just giving you uh, damage resistance, now gives you a void overshield, uh, which oh, nice. of course also gives you damage resistance, but yeah. can tie into void builds uh, in a, a pretty synergistic way. Very nice, honestly. Yeah, between that, Devour, the whole nine, obviously, there's going to be a lot of uh, oh, yeah. mobile weapons. Survivability as well. It also uh, decreases enemy accuracy against you, similar to the Always On Time Sparrow. So yeah. you've got a ton more uh, Man, damage good, guys. resistance. You've got really, no really. shield, and enemies are missing you all the time. So I, I enjoyed using it a few weeks going to GMs. yourself up into the air easily with mountaintop. It's, yeah. It's good fun. That's also, too, actually, uh, we got a question from chat that is, what's the difference between uh, the new perk um, mm -hmm. and uh, Golden Tricorn? They sound pretty similar. Uh, they do have kind of similar functionality. The big one is that the Golden Tricorn bonus is large, but uh, doesn't stack mm. once you get it. So um, the uptime on uh, the new perk his name I can't remember. Yep. It's, not, it's not in this book. <laughs> um, is that the, up, the uptime is higher. Excellent. Okay. I know that too. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, also, too, it's, uh, we got another chat as well. Uh, chat question for me, I should say. Uh, will the weapon ornaments for Luna's Howl and the Recluse be equipable for the new versions of those weapons? Uh, yes, they will. Oh, awesome. Both for the, uh, the base versions and for the variants, you can equip any ornaments that you've got. Um, players have already noticed that uh, some of those show, are showing up later in the season yeah. uh, in the Bright Dust Storm. So. For anyone out there that might uh, go ahead and check through the databases, they might have noticed something potentially. Yep. Yeah, we can't say yes or no, but maybe, firm maybe, certainly. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, excellent. All right, so we're doing a pretty good job here. Tom, I got to say, uh, it seems like you're making some pretty good quick work of these lost sectors. Yeah, I mean... It's like he's played them before. Maybe once or twice, potentially. You never know. It did work on EDZ. It it's been a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> So Tom, actually also too, is you know, as, as you've kind of been helping sort of build a lot of, of what Into the Light is going to be, um, you know, what was the role that these weapons played? Like why is, why is Shax choosing now to go ahead and re-equip us with this particular set of antiquities? And part of the idea is that it's like this forbidden arsenal, right? The things that aren't, uh, that, that we've kind of set aside, at least in the Crucible and other spaces. And, and now in this, this kind of dire time with, with our backs against the wall, we need to, you know, kind of set aside uh, th those uh, conventions and, and you know really uh, t take ad every advantage we can in the fight against the witness and and kind of like you know having players in this moment you know within the light you know it's, it's it's a great time to hop in and play if you haven't been playing Dude, or yeah. uh, if, if you want to catch up and we're going to give you the all of these weapons will the carry you like, in the final like stage expansion every week you, truly, truly. you do the work uh, you're going to get like an incredible arsenal. Yeah, particularly if you had been like looking at some of the uh, meta heavy grenade launchers, yeah. you just walk in and get extra in transit and like be like competitive already. Yeah. yeah. So, and also too, uh, I just got word from back at home that uh, also Noah is apparently back at home after last week's stream in chat cheering everyone on. So if everyone out there wants to give him a quick yeah, great in chat, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Alrighty. I really like auto loading hoster on a mountaintop. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's. I mean, it's I've got. Strong. Yeah, I've got a, a fighting lion part in our dust loadout that obviously hinges pretty heavily on auto loading holster because I never want to stop shooting any grenades. <laughs> this I'm guy. I'm sorry, everyone. You are one of those, Andy. Hot <laughs> damn it! Love for knowing the chat. All right, love to see it. <laughs> Uh, so also too, actually, you know, over the course of, of developing kind of this new reward structure, was there anything about it where you're like, all right, this is this is the moment. Like onslaught is set up just right. Like what was it like, kind of building this structure for players to go ahead and just reinvest in? I guess. Yeah, I think when we finally got the loot explosion going, yeah, there was this whole conversation and how we wanted to feel when you open the chest and all this stuff and, and all these people working together doing tech stuff to make sure it all. It all worked great and everyone doing their part and then you know finally getting in there and just just running through and seeing everything just yeah <laughs> like I guess all of your work just like flying through the air <laughs> space was just really satisfying and it really felt really felt like it was coming together I'm also really partial to when we start getting um, more icons and world art coming in the space really started to feel tangible when Shax finally had the guns in his hands in the yeah. in the <laughs> in all the hollow such shaxes for a while good sound like, that's like right. this, you know? Did you guys have that vision of the hollow shaxes like right away? You were like, this is how we want it to be. Or was it just, what was the evolution of that space like when you guys were building it? We Chad, did they so. change really Midnight's with world art and all this gun stuff. sound? Did um, they change it up? It, it, we the had a bunch model? of people in the room, everyone who's dedicated to the space in some capacity, and we were just brainstorming together and, and, and laughing and coming up with all these, these fun ideas. So it was a huge collaborative process, and I think that's what's so magical about working in games. Oh, always you get to work sound with all that good. All these things that you don't, oh. and make something so cool and awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, also, too, we got one more quick question from chat that caught my eye. Uh, is the Master of Arms perk as powerful as before? Uh, no, it's had to be toned down a little bit. Fair, yeah. Yeah, it's still very strong, um, but yeah, that, that original version is pretty wild. Kind of in a league of its own, certainly. I don't know, guys. Uh, all right, Tom. So what's your... Uh, your Midnight is going to be right now? Is it basically just Old West guns? What mini you're going to play with? Yeah, I mean, I... I, I haven't been had a chance to play with all these guns either, <laughs> so I'm just having fun over here. Like you guys can, you can do your stream over there. I'm just gonna play uh, with, uh, with Midnight Coup here, which just oh, it just feels so snappy and crispy. <laughs> like I just gotta point it in the right direction. It this does a lot of the work. It may uh, become the best hand cannon. Kinetic tremors? Is that what it has? Or? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like you can just, I, you don't even really need to be that accurate, I guess, with this this <laughs> roll. I can just kind of shoot around enemies. And like a does. dance, like in the old west. <laughs> Pretty sure yeah. this is still the highest aim assist of any legendary hand cannon in the game, too. Oh, is that so? Okay. Yeah. That's what are some roles, by the way? So obviously, I think you know they, they each kind of have their different PvP and PVE flavors. But in in the PVE trenches, are there any roles in particular with this new kind of set of perks that you were really caught off guard by or surprised by? 
Uh, I mean, Firefly Kinetic Tremors is really, really strong. I think that yeah. was actually the role that uh, Noah was running yeah. last week. Yeah, he was making it look pretty good, thankfully. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> but Noah's all right at the game, as it turns out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? I think uh, the role that we've got here on Edge Transit, uh, which is Cascade Point left column. Yeah. Uh, being able to just like mag dump yeah. uh, a whole drum grenade launcher uh, is really strong. Yeah. Yes, it is. The uh, burst damage potential is wild. Uh, and also, too, actually, uh, another question from chat. To get the double perk rolls on the weapons, yeah. do you have to do higher level onslaughts, or is there a chance for them to drop with double perks in each column regardless? Uh, there is always a chance. Um, those are the okay. limited edition variants. Yeah. yeah. And also, too, just a, a quick reminder is the, the quests from chat, or on, on, from our site, rather, those ones have a higher chance of giving you uh, one of the limited edition variants, or? Those give you the curated ones, right? The yes, curated? those that's are the right, curated right. ones. So pretty much, that's just a, that's a guarantee that you can get them. But anytime you get a brave weapon, there's a chance that oh. it will it will have the double perks and the the, the awesome appearance on it. So Very cool. that was actually a really fun thing when once it kind of got that implemented, playing through the first nice, time, you just super naturally got loaded, one. Yeah. Like you'll be in a play test time. Oh, I, I got one. I got yeah. a limited edition one. It's just a really fun. It's kind of even just that excitement of like when you're you know out there doing a dungeon farm or whatever the case is, and you're checking through all the guns that are sitting in your mailbox, and you're just like, oh, that initial set of rolls is pretty cool, and then you click in and you're like, wait, I can curate this to exactly what I want it to be. <laughs> like that moment's always pretty rewarding, honestly. Uh, so obviously, so yes. So uh, as a quick reminder to everyone in chat, so the um, the brave arsenal will be able to drop from onslaught at every stage. Was it every ten levels? Yes, every set. Excellent. Okay, set. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. See, this is we have the experts here, obviously. <laughs> Uh, all right, Tom. What's what's next on the list? Which which lost sector is going to wilt against your powers? I think I'm gonna go and I don't know what's called. Great suggestion. Somebody just shot, brought up. Think, right? You that, could do Lunas How with those magnificent How uh, power actually, shots. You just go ahead and drop on down and in. see well, if it is. can be boosted yeah, with go. lucky pants. Those fallen are great suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> Can't die from full damage anymore. It's true. That would. Who could possibly do that? That's what we have the mountaintop to do, or to, to use for rather to get those kills on ourselves. <laughs> Oh, wrong way. <laughs> this is the right way. Uh, and actually, also too. So, a lot of questions in chat about the uh, the, the pools of perks that are going to be be available, the weapons that are going to be available. Uh, you and your team over on the weapons team have also gone ahead and authored a blog that will be hitting Bungie.net tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's going to list out all of the weapons and uh, all of the perks that can appear on them. So, yeah. uh, no mystery about the, the perk pools as of tomorrow. Yeah, excellent. So there will be uh, plenty of opportunities for all the build crafters out there to go ahead and go nuts and kind it of imagine loads their of most super shot, opportunities. Guys. Really, I don't know. We'll have to see if it works or not. Uh, actually, so also too, you know, we've talked a lot about the Brave Arsenal. Let's go ahead and touch Ooh. on um, that was a the, nice the pump up and damage. Um, what was kind of the inspiration behind that set and kind of bringing it forward now? This is kind of like a first full, full circle moment, rather than I know Tom was mentioning. But you know, why is Shax choosing now to? Okay, look, he's got precision final most magnificent how times three uh, super shots. Frankly, wasn't as as involved in those kind of. No, it's okay. no! It was actually really, show really, us uh, Tom. Fun. Uh, oh, nice. look beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Kind of waiting to see like how it is good looking armor. How we're right. gonna end up looking in the end because we weren't yeah. really sure right away which no! that we were getting. There we go. So excited to Good. see him in the see him in the chest. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was. I think honestly that first record the numbers that we got the, uh, in the key art. You know, obviously there was an initial glimpse. Yeah. I think it's gonna work with Lucky Pants, guys. Left, That's gonna be insane. Like just immediately captivated by onslaught. Immediately captivated by like, is that is Tom that is edging us intentionally right now? Who knows? If you're trying to bring back players' favorites, like there is so much nostalgia for that uh, parade armor set. Yeah. Like, bring that back and updating it a little bit. Like yeah. I still run the. Um, the parade armor set uh, on, on my character from yeah. time to time. So Gotta have that classic look, classic obviously. Look. Yeah. And obviously getting a chance to go ahead and chase down Super Black doesn't hurt either. Mm -hmm. Looks very cool when you... He's not gonna put it back on for us. Son of a bitch. Won't say much. We'll break, we'll break in tomorrow's deep dive breakdown, guys. We'll break down all Excellent. the numbers. Let's go ahead and take one more quick run through. So this, uh, is there anything else actually? So I know we've had a chance to walk through the Brave Arsenal. Uh, Tom, in particular on your side, um, you know, we've gone ahead and kind of gone around the horn over here. Uh, is there anything about this this kind of new set of weapons and sort of the role they play and into the light that, that's got you excited about kind of the overall sandbox now that we're going to have available to us? I'm really excited about the, 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 a lot of these weapons are, 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 they're not god rolls, but they're pretty close to it. Like if you show up uh, every week and you do the weekly quest, you're gonna get something that is really pretty powerful. Yeah. Um, and 
it's it's going to be like, for example, just looking at like the hammerhead here. It's got rampage and killing tally on it. That, that's just incredible. Never stops like for PVE, yeah, it just never stops firing, right? Yeah. Like, and then you're also increasing damage every time you take an enemy out, which is cool. And I could I could look at each one of these weapons too, and they they like um, I think we might have glossed over it earlier, but the edge transit with cascade point, like you get a kill and then you can dump the whole mag in like two or three seconds, which is is really <laughs> powerful. And I think people are gonna find a lot of great synergies between these weapons. Like I was even, yeah, like Mountaintop, uh, Recluse and Cascade, uh, Edge Transit felt great. Like I could like use the SMG, uh, like that, I, that, that while my, my Mountaintop is reloading and then, and then like getting kills with those activates Cascade Point and I could swap over and dump the mag for Edge Transit. And like, I could see similar things with Hammerhead. Oh, Hammerhead uh, Armatarium is gonna be crazy. Or um, with- Literally uh, no one uses LC Cascade. Rifle. And yeah. that um, right there, my and then, like, friend, is why the witness some, is going to take his nuts out here that I really miss and place it upon thy I'm, I'm really excited for Black Furnace to be back. Yeah, right there. I'm excited to see what it does to the meta with these being like relevant in the power game again and being something that is accessible to, 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 to players new and old. Yeah. Someone who spends a lot of time in the Crucible, uh, I'm terrified already. <laughs> Proctor, thank you very much for all the hard work on that. <laughs> See you in yours, obviously. Uh, all right, so I think we're probably getting to a point now. We've gone ahead and checked out the, uh, the, the rewards. We've checked out the new social space. We've checked out the Brave Arsenal. Um, it's probably about time for us to go ahead and start wrapping things up here. Uh, Mr. Tom Farnsworth, when you get an opportunity, feel free to go ahead and rejoin us. Relinquish your hold from the throne world, obviously. Uh, that was, this is so fast. Your jump ship yeah, was right, right in orbit, wasn't it? Right uh, I hear it's lovely this time of year out there in the throne world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 everyone's, at Noah and uh, Kelsey have been keeping it warm for me in there. That's true, all right, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, and again, we can use some sword logic later to expand it when the time comes. Yeah. But for right now, we've gone ahead and done our job. Uh, well, for starters, uh, thank you all so much for taking time to join us, to talk us through, obviously, the, the, champ the Hall of Champions, talk us through the Brave Arsenal, through everything with Into the Light. Uh, it's been a great show, so thank you guys for starters for taking the time to join us today. Thank you so much. Yeah, my so pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Absolutely, and also too, uh, as a quick reminder again to everyone, uh, we'll be back next week, the same bungee time, same bungee place, to, to have another live stream about everything, or some more stuff coming with Destiny 2 Into the Light, uh, including some exotic mission, uh, some, pardon me, some exotic mission content and the craftable weapons that'll be available to them. Chat, I saw you. Whisper is coming that. back, so back, baby. Uh, also, we'll be gonna, gonna go ahead and walk through the PVP map pack as well. So if you wanna see everything that's gonna be coming in those three maps, oh, next excellent. week will be your time. And, uh, uh, there might be a few more additional surprises that we'll have in store for you. Never know. But, and also, too, the final thing we're going to go ahead and make sure you close with is, as a quick reminder, of course, with the arrival of the final shape, you'll be able to get 100 more slots in your vault. Uh, as you can go ahead and see here on camera, we put it to good use ourselves. We had some edge transit rolls. We knew that this was the time and place to go ahead and slot them on there, in there. Uh, so we now have those. Thankfully, uh, I fucking love Bungie knows the, the meme, witness. man. Right. Never <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, thank you all so much for taking time, taking the time to join us today. Uh, we'll see you back here next week at the same bungee time, same bungee place. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you all star side. All right, fellas. Um, what are y'all's What are y'all thoughts on on everything you saw? Some of you were mentioning in the stream just now that you felt like some of those roles, it's it's too much power creep or it's too powerful. In my opinion. I think this is a testament to just how difficult of an expansion the finer shape should be. You know, I, I don't think they would dial things up, give us, you know, weapons like Kill and Tally and Rampage on Hammerhead and other crazy roles and Recluse back with Master of Arms and Mountaintop back if we weren't going to be literally taking on some difficult stuff in the finer shape. And the fact that there's going to be a ketchup, ketchup chest there for everyone so you'll be able to bring your friends in that may have actually taken a break. They'll be able to get it caught up in terms of, of power leveling and have at least a decent set of weapons. And arguably, maybe even the best set of weapons because we're going to be able to take those weapons and enhance all these perks. That was honestly huge. I was not expecting for them to say, yep, yeah, not only are we, we, we've got these other weapons like, you know, the prophecy weapons, iron banner weapons and stuff, the, the ones they've already listed, the trials weapons that we're going to be able to enhance those traits. But the weapons from Into the Light, we're going to be able to enhance those traits as well. Succession, Forbearance, I know most of you are like, I've already got a craft roll of them. Well, yes, but they mentioned that there are some unique roles on those two weapons that are not on the, the raid versions. And, of course, the Origin trait, which may play uh, 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe it plays as a better synergy there. Will the barrels and magazines be selectable? So if you saw static rolls, like if you saw, those are the curated rolls they're talking about. That's tied to like the quests and stuff, guys. Those static rolls though, or what's tied to this quest. And again, what they said is those are not the best rolls for those weapons. Those are more or less like the guarantee rolls. Your friend has a limited amount of time. They want to jump in and mess around or, or, or mess around Destiny, but get something good out of it guaranteed. They can just go do those quests. But then you saw like, roles that were even better and more curated for what it is you're going to want that role for for instance the recluse that had master of arms and dynamic sway that's going to be phenomenal in pvp maybe the feeding frenzy role would be the better role inside of pve but we'll have to just see all right for those wondering we will be doing a breakdown of everything you saw today in a deeper dive also damage perks because we were looking at magnificent how and those other things magnificent how looks extremely deadly and we start talking about those super bullets and what we could do with lucky pants I, you know, if, it's going to hurt my soul if it doesn't work. If it's like a, a Hawkmoon situation where it was, won't scale on that final shot. So in that case, the super shots or like Sturm, it's going to hurt my soul if that doesn't work. Fingers crossed, Luna's How, Magnificent How does in fact work with Lucky Pants. We'll see how it plays, plays out with that. But we'll have a deeper breakdown on that uh, tomorrow. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.